Today, I have a customer Surly Big Easy electric cargo bike in, and I thought I would take a few minutes to share with you my overall review of riding, selling, and servicing the Surly Big Easy. Hey guys, this is Arlie with Bike Shop Girl. We are a family and cargo bike shop in Colorado, really focused on inspiring you to leave the car at home. Today, I wanna just be talking about the bike, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and who I think it's for. So just getting started, super high level, this is a $5,000 electric cargo bike. It's considered a long tail, so it can fit two to three kids in the back or an adult. It uses a Bosch Performance CX motor, which is the most powerful motor as we're talking right now from Bosch. Soon there will be a cargo line, but the Performance CX is the nicest thing they could spec this bike with. Their battery that they use is a 500 watt hour, again, the largest option at the time for this bike. So they spec this bike out with all the bells and whistles for power. Um, Biggest motor, biggest battery, really nice brakes, great drivetrain. I'll link the spec below. Other things to know, it's dual 26 inch wheels. So an adventure machine. I probably don't need to bore you too much about the spec. So I just wanna jump into the pros and cons because I'm asked a lot about this bike. So pros for this bike, first off, I believe it's the only size specific cargo bike available these days. Extra Cycle used to do a small medium, medium large. Now they just change out the stem and handlebars depending on your height. Surly has a full size range, uh, which really matters if say you're smaller or most importantly, you're taller. A lot of our Extra Cycles, Yubas, other bikes don't fit people too well over six foot, six two, I would say, uh, without making a lot of uh, adaptions or changing out a lot of stems and seat post. So the Surly Big Easy and the Surly Big Dummy lineup come in size specific. I'll link below to the geometry chart if you're interested. Number two would be, it is adventure ready. Two 26 inch wheels, steel, nice brakes. This is the bike that if I'm going off-roading and I want a cargo or electric cargo bike, this is probably the choice I would make. 26 inch tubes and tires are readily available internationally. Uh, it's not a really super weird setup. I would probably switch to a more traditional tire if I was going abroad, just so that I could find something to fit it if I ripped my sidewall. But I love that this is adventure ready. And taking that a little bit further, the third thing, which probably doesn't matter to most, is that Surly's trailer can use a special hitch design that plugs into the side of the cargo bike, just making it feel a little bit more stable when you're towing a heavy load, instead of connecting onto the quick release or nuts of the dropout. So that's really cool and really specific to Surly cargo bikes where they have a hitch design around it for their trailers. The fourth thing will be availability. Any bike shop in the United States that has a QBP account, which is the largest parts supplier in the country, can get a cargo bike for you. They don't have to go in deep with another brand like Extra Cycle, Yuba, Turn. So this opens up the opportunity for shops to try it, employees to try it. And that's really how the Surly brand started. And I talk a lot about this in a separate video, which I'll link below. The next pro would be that they didn't really skimp on the parts. And that's a pro, but it's also a con. It's a $5,000 bike without a couple core accessories, which I'll talk about in the cons. And last but not least, it's a Surly. If you are a die hard Surly fan and now you have kids or you wanna go camping or you want electric, there's a bike for you. And I think that is gonna be their core market as they figure out the cargo bikes. So let's talk about cons. Price, it's five grand. For that five grand, you don't get pedals, which is kind of strange. So budget 20 to $40 for a nice entry level set of platform pedals. It doesn't have lights, which is really annoying because all of our electric cargo bikes are typically ridden at night. And it's really nice to turn on your bike and your lights go on. 
So the one behind me is actually in right now so that I could install the nip tuck lights from Light in Motion. This required extra long cabling from Bosch and a splice kit. So uh, it's not just the price of the lights, it's gonna be the Bosch adapter that plugs into the motor, splice kit, and you need to be a bike shop with a Bosch certification to have this little dongle so you can plug in and turn the lights on on the motor. Um, right now they came out of the box with no lights, therefore the light option was not turned on. So it's not like something you can do at home, you bought this early bike, you need to be a Bosch dealer to be able to turn on your lights and make that available to the customer. So next up would be the weird mounting for the second battery. Um, it comes with a second battery harness, which I should list as a pro, but I would never mount the battery where they recommend, which is underneath the frame where if you do go adventure riding with this bike, you'll hit your six to $800 lithium ion battery. It's a really weird mounting point. I hope they change that in the future. I don't even care that they provide a, uh, it's called a Y cable splitter mounting system because I would never use it on this bike. Next up is the kickstand. I don't know why they didn't come up with a center mount kickstand. Hopefully it's in the future coming. Um, you can't adapt a extra cycle kickstand to this like you could with the old big dummies. The really expensive cycle fab rolling jackass doesn't work on this bike. Hopefully they're gonna come out with an adapter or a mount, but that's a $250, $300 kickstand. So I hope that Surly will have a center mounted kickstand option. On this bike, we actually upgraded it to the PDW power stance kickstand, and it seems to be working fine after I loctited the bolts on, but I will say they only have a first or second grader that's going on and off here. And she knows how to get on and off the bike. You don't have two wiggly little ones. I don't know if I would trust this bike with two small ones if I'm not a super capable rider and know how to maneuver a bike really, really well. So a few things that don't fall into pros and cons, but should be known. Um, first off, Surly does not recommend two Yep seats on this. So don't install two Yep seats or the liability is completely on you. Second, this bike does come with bags, which is nice and they're great bags. I love these bags. They fold all sorts of ways and they're really cool bags, except that the Velcro for the bags are inside the bag. So if you have small kids, like my four-year-old, really complained riding this bike because the Velcro scratched her. Not the end of the world. I think if I was riding this bike every day, I would probably get some sort of fabric to stick on the inside of the bag so it didn't scratch her legs but something worth noting. And then as you can see, this has the Kid Corral installed on it. I really like this system. Uh, it slides, it adapts, and it works really well. So if you're interested in learning more about the Kid Corral, I can do a completely different video on it, but it works, it works well, and I would give that two thumbs up. So in closing, I think Surly is onto something. I do like the ride of the bike. So who is this bike for? Kind of narrowed it down to four types of people that should really look at this bike if they're in the cargo bike market. The first one will be you're adventuring and you want an electric cargo bike. Adventuring meaning you're gravel riding, you're off-road riding, you want to go on a long bike tour, please go test out this bike. It's wonderful, it rides beautifully, it's super comfortable. Two, you're over six foot. Three, you wanna use the Surly trailer and you wanna have a cargo bike. I would definitely check out this bike. And fourth, maybe the most important, you are a Surly diehard. You love steel bikes, you hate aluminum, hate carbon, and you really have started to drink or you're drowning in the Surly Kool-Aid, which I totally love and believe in. It's a wonderful brand. 
If you've been in any four of those, I would try out this bike. If you are a petite woman trying to carry two to three kids every single day, try it out. But it might not be the bike for you, especially with the kickstand and the tire being a 26 inch in the rear, your kids are gonna be super high up. So I would love to hear from you. Today's question of the day is, if you've ridden this bike, or maybe you own it, what do you love the most about it? Until next time, this was Arlie with Bike Shop Girl, and we're inspiring you to leave the car at home.